Uh, this started as an air dash combo video. Get used to using air dash as a counter poke. It's good. Trust me. You've got like a selection of normals you can do from air dash, so I'm trying to summarize them all in this video. Advantageous on block. Jumpy's good and fast, but it's a little finicky. Depending on what the opponent is doing. If they're standing, it's great. Just do it. But mm, if they're crouching. After neutral air dash jump S though, uh, if they try to challenge like a throw attempt, it's nice. You're gonna have to learn to bounce off Mix Mix Mix. It's some weird momentum trick. More info coming. It's good though. If you think you might not break the wall, it's probably good to spend that bar. You're not stuck using 2H. Uh, 5H is probably a better frame trap option, and it's safer on block. If you want to simplify air dash pressure, just do instant air dash jump D or instant air dash jump S. No up or down motion, just autopilot it into close S. When using uh, different air dash heights, you might want to keep in mind the character you're fighting could make a difference. And when air dashing, you're going to get rocked by air dares. Some are hard to punish and lead to some pretty good stuff. Someone just waiting you out will also be in a pretty good situation to make you eat shit. If they're playing reactively, you can take advantage of it. They might try to hedge with fast pokes to check your forward movement, but you got big boy normals. And if those don't work, you might have to explore your options a bit. This whole landing recovery thing seems super interesting. Faust has a low dash, so these things that don't hit him when he's running uh, sound particularly vulnerable. Mix 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 is also plus on air block, so if you can force them to block it, it sets up a really good situation after. Mm. But as a tool, it needs more experimentation. And when in doubt, there's always 6H. It's big and it's disjoint, so give it a try. Let me know how it goes. And this stuff goes both ways, so if you want to know how to deal with the opponent's approach and their options, just watch the video in reverse, you know? Should help. Thanks for watching.